Hi everybody, Howie Heckman here with PTS. Today I'm going to talk about RFID scanning with Tracer Plus and Tracer Plus Desktop. This uh, demonstration will focus on UHF scanning, which gives you a long read range. So something like this MC3190Z device here can get a long read range that you can stand away from items and scan the RFID tags. Now this device will scan these uh, UHF EPC Gen 2 tags. Uh, this one here is meant for garments. Uh, it's similar to the security tags that you'd see on different uh, pieces of clothing and stuff in a retail environment, uh, but it gives you item level identification of the uh, garment. So it's not just simply to trip the uh, sensor when somebody's stealing the item. It also allows you to do things like inventory and get down to an item level identification for that particular item. So I have uh, here an application set up on this device that I configured in Tracer Plus Desktop to do an inventory of this uh, simple little retail environment here. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my RFID inventory application. Uh, now this application allows me to select a location of where I'm doing the inventory and then just scan for tags. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, select the shelf that I'm doing the inventory. And all I need to do here is actually just uh, start scanning the tags by pulling this trigger. Now these tags are all within the different items here on the shelf. So these hats above have many different uh, tags just like this, as well as the garments down below. And the thing that's most interesting about this is you don't need a line of sight to the uh, garment. So when I'm doing this inventory, I'm just waving this reader around, picking up all of the tags in the environment, and I don't have to pick up the garments to uh, scan ones underneath it. So basically what I'm gonna do here is just pull the trigger. Now this will start reading all of the tags in the environment. You can hear the beeping from Tracer Plus. It's indicating it's picking up new tags and entering them onto the handheld. Once the beeping stops, you know you've got all of the tags in the environment, and you can go ahead and submit that to your database. So I just did an entire inventory of this shelf here in just a couple of seconds, and I didn't have to move the items around to scan uh, any of them using just the barcodes. Uh, so that's a little bit of a demonstration here of UHF RFID scanning with Tracer Plus. Uh, take a look at our videos online to see how to set this up and how quickly and easily you can configure the handheld to do just this type of application here. Thanks for taking a look, everybody. Hello everybody, thanks for joining us. Today I'm going to walk you through a quick video tutorial on setting up uh, RFID mass scanning within Tracer Plus Desktop on a UHF RFID scanner. Uh, so really quickly we're going to set up an application that allows you to select the location and then scan all of the tags uh, within the field of view of the, uh, the reader and assign them to that location and submit them very quickly to the Tracer Plus database. Uh, at the end of setting the application up here today we'll go ahead and do a video demonstration of how the application works. I'll show you a uh, a shelf of a bunch of items and we'll scan a whole bunch of tags and uh, scan them all at once and you can see how quickly you can uh, scan a large inventory and assign it to a location. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and start a new project here in Tracer Plus Desktop. I will just go ahead and call the project RFID Mass Scan. Then I will go over to my session one which is really just a form on the handheld where we're going to go ahead and configure an RFID mass scanning application. We'll call this one RFID Inventory. This is the icon the user will see on the home screen of Tracer Plus on the mobile device that they'll use to scan all of the items at that particular location that they select. Uh, now down below, all I need to do is start configuring the fields of information that I would like to use for this application. The first one's just going to be a location dropdown. So I'm going to change the name there to be location. I'll change the field type to be dropdown. And I will go ahead and change the items in that dropdown to be maybe uh, different shelves that we, we want to uh, collect the inventory on these uh, different locations in a maybe a retail environment or something like that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and add a couple items to that dropdown list. Uh, now we will go back and add our RFID tag field here, or RFID EPC field, uh, which will be the actual tag that we're scanning on the shelf. So as we're taking the uh, inventory of this location, all of the tags will be scanned into this field here. The rest of these fields we don't need, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove them from our session. And at this point, I will go ahead and just configure a couple things about the flow of how we're entering data. The first thing we'll see is that the flow is uh, starting on the location field. We just want to make sure that the location is set to go to the RFID EPC tag because we want the user to select the location and have the cursor immediately jump down to this RFID field so that they can begin scanning tags in that case. Uh, from the RFID field, what I'm going to do is set the go to to be itself. So every time you scan a tag, it immediately just leaves that cursor in the field, the RFID field, uh, ready for the next scan. So I'll just go ahead and change that to be the RFID EPC tag field. Uh, after that, I think that's all we want to do for the field configuration. I just want to go ahead and start uh, designing a form 
for this mobile application that the user will be using. So to do that, I'm going to jump to the form designer. I'm going to go ahead and click the Create Default button. This will build a default form based on the fields that you added in the field settings here. So you can see I have a default form that's set up to capture the location, as well as the RFID EPC tag field. And I'll just go ahead and change some of these uh, properties here, just to make it a little bit more usable for the person that's actually doing this uh, inventory. So I'll go ahead and change the uh, tag to the tab to say inventory. Uh, and now what I need to do is uh, add a grid control to the form, because right now this is just two fields of information. So the user, if we deploy this to the handheld, would be selecting a location, and then they may be scanning the RFID tags into this field here, but they're going to uh, scan potentially thousands at a time of these tags. So each tag would replace the value that was previously scanned in this field. So what we need to do for this application is add a grid control to our form where every tag that's scanned, every unique tag that's scanned from the RFID reader uh, into this EPC tag field will get captured into the grid control so that we're reading all of the tags and storing all of them for our inventory. So to do that, what we need to do is add a grid control to the form. I'll go ahead and place it underneath these two fields here. Now the grid control, the first thing I need to do is make sure that it's running in what's called cached mode. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on cache mode with the uh, property grid on the right-hand side here. And one thing I also want to do with cache mode is to set the beep when row added to true. Okay, so now what this does is it changes the mode of this grid control that we added to our form so that it's a kind of a holding place for values that we've entered on our form. In this case, it's going to be these RFID EPC tags. So it's going to collect all of the tags that we scan, which could be thousands of tags at a single uh, scan, and collect all of them here so that when we press the submit button, we're saving every tag that we, the user just scanned with that RFID reader. So it's not just simply filling out these two fields of information on the form up above, but it's capturing all of those tags in this grid control. And because we've turned on beep when row added, uh, every time we scan a unique tag, you're going to hear a beep on the uh, device so that you know you just captured a new tag. And that's very useful for if you're scanning an entire shelf, and you want to make sure you read all of those tags on that shelf, that the beeping will be very, very quick at the beginning as you're capturing new tags, and then it will slowly, it will get slower as you're performing the inventory because you'll be finding less and less unique tags in that inventory. Uh, so once you start, once you stop hearing those beeps, you will know you have captured all of the RFID tags within that environment, or in this case, the shelf. Okay. So uh, the next thing I need to do is actually just configure this, uh, this grid control here to capture the values that the user uh, enters up above. So uh, for a little um, help here, I'm going to turn on this ID uh, button here, and I'll tell you why in just a second. But what I'm going to do is select the grid control. In the properties again over here on the right-hand side, I'm going to click in this data options field and then press this ellipsis button here to bring up the options for this grid control. Now this grid con control is going to really capture two things. It's going to capture the location selected by the user, as well as all of the RFID tags that the user uh, enters and scans into this RFID tag field. So I'm going to go ahead and add two columns to this grid control. Now the first one is going to be that location uh, selection that the user selects from the dropdown. And the second one will be the uh, EPC uh, field from the uh, what the, uh, what the scanner scanned using the RFID reader. <clears throat> now I just need to go ahead and link these fields here, these columns, up to the uh, fields on the form. Now you can see my location field here is control 5, and my EPC tag field is field 7. So I need to link these two controls to this grid control so that every time a user scans these values or enters these values on the form, it inserts it as a new row. So the location is control 5, and the EPC is control 7. So now these two columns are linked to these, or bound to these controls on the form so that when a user keys in these values or scans the RFID tags, it will insert them as new rows in the grid control. A couple extra things I want to do for this, the EPC, I just want to make sure that this one is set to a key column. Uh, and that it also triggers the binding. So that means every time a user scans the RFID tag, attempt to put it into this grid control here, and because it's a key column, 
it will never insert a duplicate tag. So no matter how many times you go across the shelf scanning the items on the shelf in this retail environment, it will always capture the tag a single time within this grid control. So that's important for this setup in that you won't be scanning the tags multiple times into this grid control. Uh, the next thing I need to do is just scroll down a little bit in these uh, the properties for these columns, and I need to set the source field of the EPC tag to this RFID EPC tag field, and the location needs to be set to the location field. Basically what that tells it to do is when I hit this submit button, all of the location values in the grid control will be saved to the location field in our RFID inventory session here. Same thing with the EPC. All of the EPC values from that RFID tag that were scanned will be posted and saved to the EPC uh, RFID EPC tag field that we have configured in our session. So it's really it's just as the user is scanning RFID tags, it's taking the location that they've selected as well as the RFID EPC value that was scanned from the tag and inserting all of them into this grid control. So they can go ahead and scan thousands of tags into this grid control. And once they're all done with the inventory for that location, they just simply select this submit button here that will save every tag and every location that they just scanned into this grid control to our session, which we, we can then export or sync to a text file, an access database, or any type of ODBC database, even an Excel spreadsheet. And we can send all of those tags back immediately to that uh, data source so that you can see the inventory that was performed. So that's everything that we need to set up for this grid control here. So we have a simple uh, session or form on our mobile device that captures the location that the user is selecting from a dropdown. And once they pull the trigger on that RFID tag field, it will start capturing all of the tag values and uh, saving them into this grid control. Now before I deploy this to the, ha the handheld, there's one last thing I need to do. By default, the RFID scanner is not turned on within Tracer Plus uh, on the handheld. So what you need to do is for your form, jump over to the data capture uh, menu option up on the top here. And then in here, you want to go ahead and turn on the RFID scanner. So from, in my case, I'm going to turn off the barcode scanner because we're not using that in our application. But I'm going to go ahead and select uh, enable RFID scanner. That basically just turns the RFID scanner on for our uh, form here for this inventory application, this mass scanning RFID application. And uh, you can leave all of these mainly as the defaults and you'll be able to capture most uh, EPC Gen 2 tags. And the last thing that I really want to do for this, just to kind of help out the users in the field, I want to configure a smart form rule so that the RFID tags never get placed into the wrong field. Because by default, you could technically click into this location field here, and the cursor will be blinking in that field. And if you pull the RFID reader, the trigger on the scanner, it will read an RFID tag into this location field. I don't want that to occur. I always want every tag that's ever scanned within this form to be placed into the RFID EPC tag field. So what I'll do is jump back to the data capture. I'm going to add a smart form rule. The rule type that I want to select will be RFID read complete. And then I just want to select the destination field of where that tag is being placed every time it has been scanned by the RFID reader. So in this case here, it will be the RFID EPC tag field. Now because of this smart form rule, no matter where the user has focus on this form, even if they were to click in the clear all button and they don't have a cursor blinking anywhere on this form, if they pull that trigger to read RFID tags, they will always be placed into this RFID EPC tag field, which will in turn then submit it or insert it into this grid control so that all of the tags that are scanned are captured in this grid control and then saved to the uh, Tracer Plus database when you hit the submit button down on the bottom. Okay. The last thing I'm going to do is go ahead and deploy this to my uh, mobile device. I'm just going to go ahead and click deploy here. I'll finish the deployment process and now let's jump over to a uh, video to show you how this application actually works on the handheld and you can see how quickly you can scan an entire inventory location uh, to capture a large number of uh, RFID tags and uh, build a quick inventory here. So let's go take a look at that now. <laughs> 